What's up guys and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's Killer in Purple 2. As you guys know in the last video, we just finished off the new update for the game and uh, got the ending. Now we're going back in today because there is a ton more secrets to find and we're going to be finding as many of them as we can in today's video and seeing what they have in store for us. I think this is going to be a very fun video, but be sure to subscribe right now if you're new to the channel because if you don't know, only a few YouTubers have this, this game right now. So if you guys want to see more gameplay of it, you already know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. You will not regret it. Anyways, let's go ahead and press play and hop in to the game again. So our save file that we left off on was save file 5. Let's go ahead and load up and get back into this. So one thing I remembered when uh, I ended the video, I was like, wait a minute, I remember something. So if we were to go outside the pizzeria, right? Let's go ahead and leave. And let's go take a visit to, I think it was Michael's bedroom, because they said that there's some kind of like secret there now. So I don't know if, you know, completing the game will unlock it or if we have to do something in particular, but I figure let's fly over there since we have the helicopter now, we should be able to get there pretty easily. And uh, let's see if we can find anything that stands out or maybe, you know, some kind of hint as to what to do. But if this doesn't work out, I do have another location that we can go to because I remember that house on the hill, which I think it's that one over there. It did say come back once you beat the game, I think. And that, I think, is Cawthon's Manor, which I guess is Scott Cawthon's house. I, I don't exactly know. All right, let's go ahead and hop out right here, nice and easy. And my legs are fine. Don't worry, I didn't break, snap both of them just now. No, 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 we're fine. All right, let's enter the house. Please, show me something in here new. Come on, I need, like, a hint or something. Uh, keep out Michael. Dang it, it doesn't say anything. So, my only guess is, let's go to Cawthon's house, or Cawthon's Manor, whatever you want to call it. And let's see if it gives us any kind of hint or clue as to how to open up that bedroom door because there's obviously a way to do it, right? So that's the house over there. And like I said, before, we'd have to drive all the way across the bridge, all the way down the, the like the road. It would take us forever to get there. But with this bad boy, look at how quick we can get here. Not even a problem. I do want to try jumping in the water, though, because I want to know. I feel like, dude, it'd be so cool if there was like an underwater monster in there. <laughs> I think I said this last time I played this game, but like some kind of underwater fish that would like jump up and attack you would be so cool. I don't know how hard that'd be to do, but I just feel like it'd be awesome. All right, let's look out for any secrets in the trees too while we're up here because you obviously wouldn't know anything's out here unless you had the helicopter. There's a path right there. Okay, that's the path to get to the house. Over there is the old killer in purple one location. So FNAF one, I would assume. And uh, I don't see anything else that really stands out. We might want to like take a flyer on the map just to see if anything stands out, but... We'll do that another time because I have a feeling whatever we find in this house is going to be very helpful, which I honestly don't remember in the last update if we ended up finding anything here, but I guess we'll find out now. All right, here we go. We're going to jump out of the helicopter. Hold on. Let's get this right. Land it. Wait, wait. Is there something on the roof, by the way? Kind of looks like there is, right? Uh, I don't know. All right. And jump. Okay, we should be fine. No, don't land. On oh, wait, actually, land on the roof. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll take this. Not a bad. Oh, my goodness. That would have blown up the manor. <laughs> that would have blown up the whole house. Okay, I don't see anything up there. Let's uh, jump down and... Oh, wait. No, I need to... See, we can't leave the helicopter up here. Because if I go to leave, I won't be able to get back in it. So, uh, yeah, we need to take it down from here just a little bit. Come on. Little maneuver. Oh, my God. Slow down. Okay, jump out. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it down there <laughs> when we leave. That bad boy is crashed down there. All right, the Cawthon Manor. Let's see. So, this is the house from... Um, what was it, Killer Knight? I can't think of the name of this game. But we played it on the channel, and I think there was a door here that Chica would show up at, but... Well, why am I walking like this? I'm walking with, like, a limp. What the... Oh, I'm, I'm this guy now. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Let's go upstairs. I think I do remember going in here. There was a room... Oh, yeah, there was a secret in this or something like that. I think so, but I don't know if I'm remembering... Oh. I'm still here. I always come back. And we got a key. Oh, my gosh. Goldie will pay, just like you, Henry. Golden Freddy Cinema will regret it, Henry. Park of Horrors is not the end for me. Oh, my gosh. Look at, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The key is moving. The bank key. I didn't even remember needing a bank key. But, I mean, I will gladly take it. So, now we got to make our way to the bank. All right. The bank key. Oh, yeah. The vault. I was thinking of the, the police station. I forgot all about the bank even existing because we, we've never used it. Like, we had no, like, reason to use it. So, we got to go to the bank right now. Oh, man. What could be in there? I'm excited. All right. This is uh, this is cool. This is all brand new from this point on. So, let's see what we find in there. I have a feeling it's going to be something crazy. The only problem is, where was the bank? I think it was next to the police station, right? So, it should be in front of our restaurant, but I could be wrong. Let's fly back over there. But yeah, I mean, you can kind of see everything. Like, there's FNAF 1. I don't see anything. There's the airport over there. I don't see anything that, like, really stands out as, like, being new. There's the theater. 
All right, we are above the bank. Let's do a little jump and hope that the helicopter does not... Don't land on top of the bank. Don't you do it. Helicopter, please. Okay, no. Oh, this is a perfect landing. Literally, I should be... Is it a pilot, I guess? If you drive a helicopter, I guess. I guess like a helicopter pilot. I should be a helicopter pilot. All right, let's go inside the bank. Let's <laughs> see what we can find in here. Okay, so there's the vault. I guess we have to go inside of it. Open the gate. Okay. Open the vault. <gasps> oh... There's nothing in it. <laughs> Wait, there's actually nothing. Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. There's no one behind us. What is this? There's nothing in here. What? Did we get trolled? There's actually nothing. There's got to be something in here, dude. There's something in here. But what? I don't... I mean, there's gears. There's nothing to do in here. Dude, there's got to be something in here. What is it, though? Or back as purple guy. Do you guys see anything? Like, I don't... I see, like, some stuff that, like, shows up on the walls for, like, a second. But there's nothing in here. So what What did we do? Why did I open this? Oh, no. We might have to, like, get all of the animatronics. Is there a button we can press or close the gate? That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Dude, we just got this key. Wait, can I lock myself? Oh, you can't even close it again. I'm just... I'm trying to think of, like, if there's anything we could do here. But there's there's nothing. So, I, either there's an invisible wall here. Let's see if I can maybe glitch out of the map. Come on. No, there's nothing. There's no way out. Like, what? what is this? Golden Bray Cinema, what is this? We might have to come back. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to read his email and see if it gives me a hint. So, here's what I have that he sent over. So, he said, the secret ending. The secret ending is based on the minigames of FNAF 3. So, make sure to get to the point where you give the child in the Happiest Day minigame a cake. You can look up how it's done in FNAF 3. After doing that, you will receive a secret ending after the original ending and credits. So I think that's what we got though, right? Maybe that's that book that we got at the end. I don't know. I, I, unless there's something else because we did do that minigame, didn't we? Isn't that the one that we like flew out of the map and stuff like that? So I think we might have done that one. The boss battle. The boss battle can only be unlocked after unlocking the ending of the game. It is a combination, this is where it gets interesting, of the secret area in the junkyard, which I don't know what he means by that, Cawthon Manor and the bank. So we went to Cawthon Manor. We got the golden key. We took it to the bank. There's nothing in here. So my guess is let's head to the junkyard, see if we can find whatever the secret area is that he's talking about. That's all I'll say for now, he says. Michael's bedroom. All I can say for now is that you have to unlock the sister location to get into it. I'll explain more later. So I don't know if we have to buy the animatronics or what. He does give me some more on the next one. Okay, so he says secret, the secret ending is based on the minigames from F3. Okay, yeah, we've done that. Uh, the boss battle. So he kind of says the same thing in the next email. So like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where to go with this. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to go back to our pizzeria. We need to go to the FNAF 3 minigame. And we need to give cake to the children. That, that seems to be what we have to do to get this ending. And that'll tell us what to do from that point on. To get into the vault. To get the secret boss fight. To get into Michael's bedroom. Like, all that kind of stuff. We need to go back to our pizzeria and do that minigame. And I guess there's some kind of secret there. Because we did it normally. He did send me a YouTube video that kind of says how to do it so i guess i'll watch that and we'll try to replicate it but i mean i thought we did pretty well wait am i going the right i'm going the wrong way i need to go back to our pizzeria oh we're like right next to it i thought we were like really far from it for some reason all right we're jumping out here we go uh i kind of missed my landing but it's fine okay hey that works all right so wait we need to close the business town close down we can't have children running around right now this is serious business, all right? We're about to get a crazy ending, so. Okay, so here's what we need to do to uh, get this ending. It's actually kind of difficult, but um, we're gonna try to do this. All right, so what we need to do is uh, we need more arcade machines. So I need the Mangle one, Mangle's Quest, and we're gonna go ahead and put that like right next to this one, because why not? And I'm kind of watching a video tutorial on how to do this, so uh, that's kind of like, I wouldn't know how to do this at all if I didn't have this tutorial, but then we gotta get Chica's Party minigame. So where's that at? Do we pass that? No. Here we go, Chica's party. So we have to do this one second. So we're gonna put that right here. And then, man, this is gonna be a difficult to get ending. And then the final one, we have Fred Bears, you need Balloon Boys. And then I think that's it. Yeah, and then the final one is um, some kind of the happiest day. Oh, do we have that one? I'm assuming we have that, right? Or is that one of those take cake to the children, Chica's? Uh, I don't know what that says. It's happiest day okay so this is happiest day so let's put that one right here so apparently we've got to go from minigame to minigame so we have to start at this one 
then we've got to go like down the list and then eventually go to this one and give cake to the child at the end of that mini game. So let's do it. All right, so for the first one, we need to go to Balloon Boy's Air Adventure. So let's go ahead and hop in. Now, normally what you would do here is you would grab all the balloons, the exit door would spawn in, and then you would just leave. But for what we're doing, because we have to do all of this to be able to get this new ending, I really hope it's worth it because this is gonna take me a while. We gotta jump out the map right here. So this is literally straight from FNAF 3. We gotta fall down a few floors here. So let's go ahead and go down, down, down. And then we end up here. Now we want to go straight to the right and we want to eventually run into a tree, which I mean, you guys have seen this from FNAF 3, the crying balloon boys hanging up, hanging out around a tree. I'm going to go past them and then we get here. So we want to jump onto this and obviously grab that mysterious little balloon right there. That's all colorful and looks really friendly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump up there and grab it. Got it. Okay, so that's the first one done. So we need to do all of these in one day. So now let's head on to the next one. All right, so round two, we got to go into Mangle's quest. Let's go ahead and hop in. Now, obviously we're a floating Mangle. We got to build ourselves and we got to watch out for this guy right here. All right, now this guy, if you interact with him at all, he obviously, you know, kills you. So we got to watch out. I got to jump down and grab this part though. Okay, we got both of our legs. Let's try to grab our arm right here. And I miss these old Scott mini games. They were so much fun. Okay, so where is he? I want to be careful here. I don't want to mess this up because... You know, I don't know if you lose. Is he going to come back? There he is. Man, it took forever. All right. Because obviously if you lose, I don't know if it'll mess up the ending or what. So for this one, though, once again, you do not want to go to the door. You want to jump over it. Be careful. And then jump out and go straight down all over again. So now we're in a nice little red room. Hey, it looks like Old Man Consequences house in here or lake, whatever you want to call it. And of course, you got the crying puppet right there. I'm going to go past that. And we have this little obby. <laughs> Got a little Roblox obby in here. So you want to climb up these balloons and uh, obviously not fall. Play it very carefully. Come on. I don't think, even if you fall, I don't think you'll die, but you never know. All right, up. And then one more over. And this will give us a very important part of this, a part of giving cake, the actual cake. <laughs> so uh, very much needed. Okay, here we go. Let's grab it. And got it. Okay, so that one's done. Now, on to the next one. All right, so for the third mini game, we need to go into Chica's party. And uh, to do this one, you just got to fall down, apparently, down here. Yep, there we go. You want to jump over to here and jump up outside the map and go over here. Now, we wouldn't be able to do anything here normally, but because we collected the cake from the other mini game, we should be able to drop it off there. Done. So that's this one completed. Oh, he wakes up. He looks so happy. All right, so that one's done. I noticed we're not even getting paid for this, by the way. <laughs> We still get money for completing these. All right, anyways, on to the next minigame. All right, stage 01. Now, this one is kind of difficult to do, um, but I'm going to try my best here. So we got to start by going down here, drop off, and go straight to the right. I don't think you can, like, go from up here, but I'll do it anyways. So this one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it properly. It might take me a few tries, but I'm going to go down and then all the way across to the right. Man, this is this would be so difficult without this guide that he gave me because, man, I would not know what to do at all. Okay, so we want to fall here, climb this wall, and then jump across onto here, climb up here, and then jump up through here. <laughs> like, there's so much to do in this one. Okay, and then what do you want to do here? Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, we got to climb this wall, I think. Yep, climb the wall, and then... Oh, I don't remember what to do here. I think we have to climb... Hold on. Yep, there we go. Okay, now I go up to the left. Aha, okay, got it. I was gonna say, I feel like we're missing one step. So now we just gotta jump across into the crying child's box. Come on, please, get in there. Oh, we made it. Nice, that was close. And give him the cake once again. All right, we're so close, man. I hope this ending is gonna be crazy. All right, what's next? Okay, so wait, to do the next part, we have to go back onto BB's Air Adventure, but we can't because, hold on, I'm gonna save just to be on the safe side. But uh, we can't because it only lets you play it once per day. So I guess I've got to go back to sleep and come back. All right, so we're back the next day. Let's go ahead and hop into the minigame and give this another shot. I really hope this didn't reset our progress somehow, but we're going to give it our best shot here and see what happens. So we got to collect all the balloons again and then do the exact same thing that we did last time. And it should be different. This will tell us if, you know, we did it right here. But I definitely have done everything right. It's just saving. I don't know. Oh, yep. Okay, we're good. We're good. It still saved it. All right. So now we got to jump across these balloons and get all the... No, no, no. I fell. Oh, no. Hopefully that doesn't... No, I'm down here now. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if that broke something. Crap. 
We might be uh, messed up now. I don't know if we can do this. I might have to reset my save. Oh no, hold on, where does it take us? I'll take this back to the tree. Will this matter though? I don't know. This might have messed everything up. All right, let's try this again. I had to reset my save and go all the way back to my house again, go back to sleep, do all of that. So let me make sure that I do not mess this up. I'm gonna take my sweet time on this and just make sure that I get it right. Okay, careful. This is a rough one to land on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Do not mess this up. If I fail, it's gonna take me forever to get back here. I need to make sure I save after this one too, just to play it safe. Okay, we're through. Now we give him the cake. Yes! Okay, we're we're so close to beating this, man. We are so close. Whoa! Oh my gosh, jump scare. Hello. That guy was just waiting there for me. Alright, save again. Seven. Save. I don't know why my my saves are so random. I just slam my keyboard. <laughs> now I'm putting numbers. I don't know. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, so for this next one, apparently what we have to do is go back to stage 01, but it's like a different version of it. So I'm assuming in here, wait, where were the decorations, right? Where, okay, so wait, we've done Chica's party. Stage 01, we've done. This one, this has to be it. Because happiest day, Foxy, go, go, go. We haven't done that one. So this has to be the one that we need. So I'm gonna, let's put it, um, let's put it, ooh, oh, it fit perfectly right there, but I guess we can put it here too. All right, so let's put it right there. Pizza man, get out of the way. Stop trying to jump scare me. All right, now this should be, oh my, we did it. All right, so. If we press S, we can switch stages. We need to go to Balloon Boy stage, go up here, jump down here. Oh, this is so cool. We're gonna go over here now. Go right over here, teleport back. Go back to the right here. Let's give him the cake. There we go, we did it. So, I think that's everything. I think now we just have to get the ending again, but let me make sure. Okay, there is one more. I completely forgot the happiest day. It's right here, it was hidden. So now we have to go here and I think just give him the cake, but let's be on the safe side here. So I think we just walk through all of this, go through all of these. Look at this, we're at a bunch of different birthday parties. And normally at the end of this, there'd be no cake, but we have the cake. There we go, we brought it. And now, yep, there we go. We did it, we did it. Oh man, we just hosted a birthday party. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Now, normally we'd run into purple guy, but let's see if it's the same or not. Do you want to know? Come on, something new? Nope, okay. So wait, did we do it then? Because normally you would then go to purple guy, but I think that, wait, is this about to be like a spring lock ending? Because if you guys remember, oh my gosh, I think I know what we're about to see, because look, you guys know this suit, right? It's right there. So, oh man, I think now we just have to get get the ending again. So I saved to be on the safe side, but let's um let's go back to the ending and get it again. All right, so here we are inside the factory. Let's uh wait, what the the thing is gone? Wait, can we not get the ending anymore? I, wait, isn't that how we got it? I thought it was. Oh no, don't tell me you can't get this without getting like it has to be your first time getting the ending or something. No, no, no. There's got to be a way to replicate it. I don't know though. Wait, where's my helicopter? Oh no, there's no way of getting out of here either. There's no helicopter spawn thing over here. Unless it's back here. Oh, there's my helicopter, we found it. Oh, there's a spawn thing for a car, I think. All right, so, oh no, I might end up underwater. Whoa, look, you can see under the map. What, what is that? Look, there's like, there's a thing down there. Like a whole like world. What is all of that? Huh. Well, Freddy Cinema, you want me to hack outside your game? Is that what you're trying to tell me with that? Cause like, it looks like there's something hidden down there. I don't know what, but. There's definitely something hidden. All right, well, let's go to, wait, yeah, I don't know how we would get the ending then, because it's not there anymore. Maybe if we go to the lighthouse? Because wasn't the ending in the hatch thing? Like, you would jump into it, and then that started the ending, but it's not there, so. Oh no, man, I hope, I don't know. We wouldn't have to restart the whole game. That wouldn't make any sense. Let's go here and see if we can find anything, because we haven't actually checked out this area yet. This is obviously where it went down. You can see the, Red stain right there. It's still there after all these years. It never faded away. Oh, let's jump out. Come on. Give me some way of redoing the ending game. Some way. There's nothing here, though. Yeah, let's see if there's any secrets. No, nothing. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know what to do at this point. All right, well, guys, I have looked everywhere for this secret ending or how to get back to the ending, and I cannot figure out how to do it. I've checked Afton Robotics. I've checked, you know, the houses and stuff like that. 
there's only one more thing that I want to look at. And he said there's some kind of secret in the junkyard. But before we do, I want to check one more area. Because I remember there's like a, a thing in the back right here. And I don't think this is how you get the ending. But I mean, we can try it anyways. At this point, what do we have to lose? And uh, if this doesn't work, then let's head to the junkyard and see if we can find anything crazy there. Hold on. I want to park this thing where I can get back in it. Please don't land on the ceiling. Oh, no. That's going to land. Oh, that's close. But I think we'll be fine. All right, what is this? It's just to reset the car. Yeah, there's there's no way to get the ending again. I don't know how we would do that. So I, I've looked everywhere. I cannot figure it out. It, going for example, if you're watching this, if you you know if I'm missing something, let me know and you know just send me an email on how to do this kind of stuff, and I'll do it in the next video. But yeah, I mean I've I've tried everything. All right, so let's go to the junkyard though and see what secret they're talking about in here. I didn't see anything, but let's go ahead and bring the helicopter down a little bit. I see a wait. I do see. That's an animatronic or something. 100%. That is something red right there below the helicopter. Hold on. Let's land this thing in there. Yeah, that's an animatronic or something. What is this? Someone in the junkyard. Hold on. What? Where am I? Oh, Eleanor. What the? Eleanor, what are you doing here? Okay. She's just hanging out in the junkyard. Interesting. Holding Eleanor. What? What do I do with Eleanor? Why am I holding her? What does that mean? Okay, so we've got Eleanor now, but what do I do with her? <laughs> I'm just holding Eleanor. Like what? I was not expecting, dude. We're on, we're on the right track. Like we did all the mini games that we need to do. I think my helicopter's stuck. Come on, there we go. So we did all the mini games that we need to do. We've, we found Eleanor. We're holding her for some reason. What are we going to do with her? I have no idea, but we have her, so that's cool. Um, I guess let's go ahead and just try to jump off from here. Hopefully that doesn't... Okay. Let's let's take her in here, maybe? See if we can put her on the conveyor belt or something? I, I don't know. What do you do with Eleanor? <laughs> we just have Eleanor in our hands. Like, what do I do with this? I don't know. There's no ending thing there. We can try taking her to Michael's room. I, I was thinking maybe we can, like, bring her into here, but... That doesn't... No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. Okay, so we have Cawthon Manor. We could try bringing her to that monster, but I don't think that would do anything. Bring her to the vault. I don't see how that would do anything. I, I, I don't know what to do with her. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here, okay? In the next video, though, we're going to figure out what to do with Eleanor because obviously we have to bring her to one of the houses or something and do something with her. I have no idea. And that'll connect to the boss fight or the ending. So, yeah, we've done a lot in this video, but we've also kind of done nothing. <laughs> like, we've done so much. We did so many things for the ending and we've done all this other stuff. We got Eleanor, all this other stuff, but, like, we just don't know what to do next. So... I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one because I think it's going to be a crazy one. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.